Hey guys, I'm Ernie Kate here. How's everybody doing on there? Hope everybody is well, as always. Uh, back again. Welcome back to Chronicles of the Red. Uh, we are on episode four today, and uh, decided to hit you with another crossover with our old webhead. Uh, it's always like I always say, a good crossover is always good. Um, it does well. It a crossover does a lot of things for not just for the characters, but also for the companies. Um, it spreads the interest in the companies. Um, and once again, back in the '90s, guys, we were doing that. There were a lot of crossovers, and I loved them. You know, you gotta remember, I grew up in the '80s, and when the 90s came yet yeah, we kind of started getting a lot a little bit of a lot of stuff that you know wasn't eh, but as always I still followed Spidey no matter what and that's what the Chronicles of the Web is just go, going down memory lane so today I went through my collection and uh, pulled out another crossover you guys probably saw episode 3 or yeah 3 it was yeah, it was three, I think. Yeah. Uh, if it's not, I apologize. Um, yeah, it was episode three, where I showed off what was well, I tried to show off. I don't know where, but uh, told you, informed you guys on what was the next for Chronicles of the Web. So none other than I give you, ta-da, Spider-Man and Gen Thirteen. This was written by Peter David, actually. Peter David, yeah, good old Peter David. Um, as Oh, good Peter David. I've always nothing but love and respect to that man. I'm glad to see that he's back on his feet after his, his stroke that he suffered. He's recovering. He recovered well from it. But this was fun. Um, and I will show you images of it as well. Uh, but basically, um, in the story of uh, this uh, this uh, crossover between Spidey and the kids of Gen 13, I've always been a fan of Gen 13. Uh, my favorite has always been um, Rainmaker and and uh, Fairchild. Those are those are my two favorites. Um, this is when they were still young and they just broke free of the people that were holding them. And uh, which were known as I O, I believe that was the name of them. And uh, in this issue, Spidey is <laughs> I don't know how, but it's so funny. Spidey is sent to the West Coast uh, to buy the Daily Bugle, I guess that's pretty much it, to take photography, uh, take pictures of. Remember, this is still when Peter was still freelance photographer for the Daily Bugle. Yeah, and uh, he's uh, taking pictures of um, of a rock band, and the kids of Gen 13 are in that, in the crowd watching that band play. Um, and unfortunately, a old member of the team, Glider, attacks, he even attacks Spidey, and uh, that's the, pretty much the beginning. It's simultaneously while you're while they're listening to the band, Spidey is fighting this glider and when the when the bass hits or the the drum psh, you see spidey get hit oh, and then it's, it's like okay um and of course afterwards the, the kids help peter out and um they come to uh they save peter they save him and i'll, I'll show you some more of it uh but it becomes more of just not just the just the team up between peter and the young heroes he starts to relate a little bit to them, in a sense, because, in a sense, he was a young hero grow at, at, as as they are. You know, he started when he was, what, 15, 16 years old? And, um, and uh, pretty much we, we see that. But it's more of also trying to stop Glider from exposing them, in a sense. Uh, but it was a fun, it was a fun issue. I'll show you some images as well in there. Um, like I said, it, it was Peter David does what he does best and just tell fun stories. 
Um, as you can see right here, you got the, the guitar playing, and look, Peter gets punched. Uh, you get you get the the drums. He gets punched. Peter Gar. He gets and then uh, so the wailing, and he gets kicked in the nuts. Ouch! And uh, we see the the kids um, at the rock band. They're at the band, as you can see. They're at the band. Um, I'm forgetting the uh, the right the artist was uh excuse me the artist was a uh, Stuart and Monk he actually does the artwork so uh pretty cool and like I said glider uh here's glider here she is right here that one right there Peter is fighting her and she throws like gas down uh and here. Uh, I love it because it's really funny. Uh, Spidey gets caught by one of the game. <laughs> and she says, No way! Like, it like can't be you! Oh good, if I'm not me, then that means someone else has has, has even screwed up my life than I do. <laughs> he says, I screwed up my life any more than I do. It's, it's pretty interesting. But they know who he is. The gang knows who Spider-Man. They love him. They actually respect him. And uh, you can see Fairchild right here just grabbed one of the bouncers up. <laughs> it's like, get off of me. Um, and it was just a fun ride, you know. But you could see that, you know, the, the kids, you know, help out Spidey. They, they help him out and things like that. And at first, some of them like, no. And then one of them, they're saying, can we bring him back to the place? And he's like, no. And uh, some people look like they're some of the people that are helping them out. Are like, what's going on? And look, they put Spidey up on the wall so they don't see him right here. Oh, here you go, right here. It's really fun. It, this was um, literally just a, a fun, a fun, fun, uh, a fun issue. Uh, when Peter finally comes out of being kind of comatose for a while, uh, he starts to realize where he's at and, you know, uh, members of the Gen 13, some of them attack him. Well, people, the, the ones that didn't help him attack him and they're just like, what the hell? And he's, he's all crazed about it. But, um, he, they tell him it, their story and everything like that. And, you know, Peter, he kind of understands. And, you know, like I said, it becomes more of like they find a kindred spirit in Peter um, because he kind of can relate to them. And that's always something that has always been, no matter what, for Spider-Man, has always been the pinnacle of pretty much his popularity is that he's so relatable. We understand him. We understand what he goes through. Probably one of us have been through something, a situation that he's in, you know, and, you know, that's, that's one of the key things about him, but then, of course, there's other things you love about him, his, his quirkiness is, you know, he's, he can be funny, um, you know, that his, his supporting cast is so great, his rogues gallery is so great, but anytime Pete or any heroes from different companies meet each other, I'm always on board. And once again, like I've always said, I've always wished there were more crossovers, team-ups now, where especially where writers, where they take both characters very seriously, they don't outshine each other, try to make one character look better than the other, have equal balance. And once again, when it comes to the mostly the Spider-Man crossovers, we, we see, we, we kind of see that. We see that they always seem to be able to balance him and whoever he's teaming up with. Uh, and in this issue alone, he and Gen, Gen 13 made a, a good pairing. Um, and in the end, you know, uh, it kind of ends a little badly, in a sense. Um, it kind of ends badly, but... It, but uh, Peter, 
uh, basically when he's going back home, he literally says, and I'm, I'm a, I'm a, uh, uh, I'm gonna tell you what it is. First of all, he he was taking app instead of taking pictures of what he was supposed to, he took pictures of, of you know, Spider Man in L in Los in in uh, in California and. Uh, one of the Gen 13's handlers is like, uh, I read the hand, I read the, he says, I read today's headline, major battle in La Jolla. Care, care to consider your answers. He's talking to the kids and he basically says here, he says, photos by Peter Parker. Man, wait till I get my hands on that guy. <laughs> and then he says, uh. And so here's Peter talking. He's like, so that trip wasn't a total loss. Lucky the Bugle was happy with the one photo that happened to come out and the one where you can, can't can see any of Gen 13's face, faces. So he made sure he didn't get their faces out there. Um, or gliders either, for that matter. I wonder what will happen to her, basically. Uh, like I said, it was... So... Um, it kind of wasn't all too bad in the end, but like I said, the the, the only thing I, I can complain about, well, really, not a says not necessarily complain about, guys. It's more of the fact that uh, I I never I could never see never see J Jonah Jameson at the time sending Peter Parker, freelance photographer, out to. Los Angeles or California to the West Coast just to take pictures of a, of a rock band. Um, no way. I can't see that at all. JJ is a, a cheapskate at heart and you know he he would never send, especially freelance, no way, uh, to to the to take just pictures of a band. You know, especially J, you know, but as always, you know, you got to think past that. And once again, like I said, Peter David does fine job of excuse me <clears throat> telling uh, a fun story between a young team like gen 13 at the time and a very big icon like spider-man so uh, but it was fun but spider-man gen 13 uh, I do recommend it if you if you're not just a spider-man fan but if you're a gen 13 old school gen 13 fan I say pick it up, um, but I'm I've I had I remember when I I saw this for the first time and I was like oh I gotta get this. Took me I I think a year it took me to finally track this bad boy down until I finally had to order it actually uh, because my local comic store didn't have it so I had to order it from uh, online online store or. Um, uh, forget what they were called at the time, but uh, I had to order from another store that was in Virginia, actually. So, yeah, but I got it, and I'm glad I did, and I still keep it in good condition. Uh, Gen 13. Spider-Man Gen 13. Very well. Very good stuff. Um, yeah, and like I said, Peter David, I love you, sir. I salute you as always. You always do good stuff. You always uh, deliver. Uh, but that's all, guys. Um, tell me what you thought about this issue. If you read it, if you not, I do recommend it to all my Spidey fans out there. Another good crossover between the Webhead. Uh, trust me, guys. I got plenty, plenty of crossovers. But as always... This is Mom Vernon Kid coming to you from Chronicles of the Web. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And look, see, this time I got my Spidey shirt on. This time I, I promise you, yeah, usually when I always do the Chronicle Web, I got to keep the Spidey shirt on. But uh, other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Y'all have a good weekend. The rest, enjoy the rest of your week. Take care.